what is around this Bangladesh, the land is land tenure is very fragmented and the small farm holding is very small. So whenever they're going to use a machine, actually if a farmer own a single machine, then a problem is he or she cannot actually utilize the full capacity of the machine. So it, uh, even a small or small size machine or a medium size machine is not seeing the cost. So usually one model is working at actually the, uh, you know, this, the rural youth who have some education, but not in the formal job. So they pick up this particular job to have this machine and actually providing service to the farmers for a custom hire service basis. We call it local service provider. These are actually the micro enterprise. And nowadays, actually what I mentioned in my project, we are now disseminating you know, the combined harvester. So a, a small to medium sized combined harvester is around 33,000, more than 33,000 US dollars. So we call it a, a little bit a small entrepreneur. But in most of the cases, it is within actually uh, 12 to 15,000 uh, US dollars, some of the machines to, that we call it micro entrepreneurship. So whenever we go for assessment of the investment in a machine or entrepreneurship, we actually conventionally for the long time, we are actually uh, assessing and doing some of this uh, analysis, especially for the economic indicators, like actually the BCR, the IRR, the payback period, uh, like those things. And uh, we always calculated it traditionally and conventionally. So I like to thank Gunther actually. Uh, when uh, Manun and myself actually, we have been working for a long time uh, during since his studentship and he did PhD from the same department under my supervision. So we worked together to actually uh, to develop those methodologies. But I like to thank Gunther because now you digitize the whole system. Now we can have this rural invest toolkit from which we are not having these economic indicators. But whenever we're going to develop a project profile for bankable project profile for investment from the bank or investment from this, uh, you know, the civil societies or the NGOs. Uh, so it is really an important thing. And that's why when uh, Imanun talked to me, and I know that uh, all of you are working very hard and doing a very great job on developing this rural invest toolkit, I was really interested and I always talked to Imanun. So whenever we have the chance to introduce some of my colleagues, you know, Dr. Dr. Hamid and Dr. Ashike Rabbani and later our PhD student, Surajit, actually we push them to have this training on rural invest toolkit. And even we ask a day long, just an introduction of this rural invest toolkit during this COVID-19. COVID so we actually joined virtually and Imarun actually gave us a brief introduction of this rural invest toolkit. And we found it is really encouraging as because what we are traditionally, we are conventionally, we are estimating those the economic indicators. Now rural invest toolkit actually giving in detail and different scenarios that will be very helpful, especially for like agricultural engineers who will be working in the field and helping those micro to small entrepreneurs, especially for developing themselves. So in our project, we actually developed some of these trading modules to develop this and, and, and the, you know, the entrepreneurship development modules and business, small business modules to develop this small entrepreneurs. And Particularly, we found uh, this rural invest toolkit is very useful. So, we already uh, in our you know the board of studies of the farm power and machinery, with the facilitation of this ASP project that is appropriate scale mechanization project, we already decided to put this rural invest toolkit into our uh, uh, you know the engineering management and mechanization courses. So we have already actually trying to uh, facilitate it through our academic curricula so that next generation engineer can have used this rural invest toolkit and they can actually help to assess the businesses as well they can help you to develop the business proposal for this small to micro uh, enterprises. So this is our interest and that's why our head of my head of the department, my colleagues are here, my students are here. We are really eager to have help from you. And we like to use this uh, rural invest toolkit in our academic program as well as in the research and 
in the field, especially for the development of entrepreneurship in Bangladesh. That is the model is working for enhancing the capacity utilization of the machine and effective running of the small entrepreneurship. So that's why from our side, what actually we expect is the way that we can have some uh, access to use this academically. So that needs some of this permission from your side or help from your side so that we can access it easily. We can make it available to my to our students so that they will be the professional in the future. So if they learn it, they can use it in the field. So that's our interest. And, uh, uh, and another thing I like to see that we need to, you know, whatever may be the, uh, the program or the rural industry, it, we need to develop ourselves, we need to build our capacity. So that's why actually I requested my colleagues to join in there, but my other colleagues in the department, as well as the students uh, who have initial uh, actually introduction to this rural industry toolkit. So if there is a formal training program for them, so under your leadership, so that could be a great opportunity for us. And we have already decided to include this rural industry toolkit into our particularly that particular subject in course and time. So that's the way we are looking forward to your cooperation. And from our side, uh, we're ready to cooperate with FAO. Uh, I like to mention that, uh, you know, the missile meeting initiative, that initiative is working in Bangladesh. So we, from our project side, we are also collaborating with this, you know, these farmers associations in Barishal region. So in future, we like to uh, continue that cooperation and we have another phase of ASP Bangladesh, that is the appropriate scale mechanization, and that will be continuing for the next, the next three years. So we like to collaborate with FO, especially the MMI, and this rural industry toolkit would be a very good tool to promote. So thank you. This is for all about from my side. From now, if there is any query, questions, or any clarification, then I'll provide my reaction. Thank you. Yes, yeah, so, 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 so over to you. Over to us, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much for this uh, introduction, uh, Professor Mojunal Alam, to hear about uh, the impact we have created. I think the two courses, it was really good to, to have them in Bangladesh because uh, it was picked up very well. Um, and I see that there's a lot of enthusiasm on your side also to integrate it into the curriculum, into the university training. And I think there's also national capacity to help on this. We can support, of course. We cannot, we cannot run the training courses or the sessions in, in that university level, but we can help to get good courses maybe developed with, with your help and with the help of the colleagues that have been trained in Bangladesh and that are now practitioners, a few here are surrounding us. So that is very good. Um, I don't know in which kind you will you see these courses linked to the to the university normal university le lectures or lessons. Are these courses that go like what we do, 14 days or one week intensive training for eight eight hours a day or things like that, or is it or something which is spread over the whole semester or things a bit lighter, only for one hour a week, two hours a week, and then there's homework, a combination of that. Things like that have to be discussed, of course, to design a proper course. What we do in the moment from, from our side and the team can later on uh, add things that I forget. We are working hard. We have used the lockdown because we could not travel. We can just sit at home and work from our computers like what we do now. We are working on testing out possible online training courses, well, face-to-face -face online training courses, which partially have been worked uh, in India. We have worked in Africa on this. But of course, we cannot do this for eight hours a day. People get uh, crazy if they sit eight hours on Zoom and just look at the screen. So we have to design something different, which we have started already and collect info uh, experience. And we are working also on remove, re, re, refurbishing and improving the software itself. So in, in future, we, I know all the people here 
in, in our session here, they know how difficult it was sometimes to install the software on the computer. This has been now much improved, so it will be easier for students and for uh, applicants to to use the software and install it on the computer in a, in a better way. And we have removed a number of bugs. Otherwise, the structure of the current software, RIF 5, is the same as you have uh, been trained before. But we, we will have a few changes in which we, which we need maybe to, to make you aware of. And later we will have, of course, a new RIF 20, which will be even have the potential to be a cloud solution. It's a new look and a new face, but this is coming up next year. Please, Chloe and uh, Kundan, uh, if you can compliment whatever I forgot. Yes, thank you, Gunther. Maybe in addition uh, on the potential way that how we can we can support you on that. Um, for me, I think it's crucial to to update the skills of uh, the of your trainers to the last uh, software because uh, that's important because it's the one that you'll probably use it for the coming year and as Gunther mentioned even if it's detailed it's it's good to um, to have a session to show you make sure everybody understood because it's not only in the look but also some technical detail like how to calculate the working capital for example, how the loan is calculated, these slight changes that are crucial to understand. So that's something that we can plan uh, that can be covered by the CCP and having a, let's say, training of trainers uh, to focus on that. And also we worked hard to, on the material for the, for the training, both for like training online that we are forced to do now and but can be definitely used also uh, face to face so it's I'm talking about exercises uh, powerpoints and also the way maybe we structure the um, the course uh, as involved a bit um, so if we have this training of trainer we can it can also be part of the agenda to show you where we are, what do we have, what do you think about it, is it adapted or not to your context, but at least you have all the tools that we are working on in order to, uh, to adapt it to Bangladesh and to, to your needs. And on the last thing uh, that we didn't mention, but we are currently working hard uh, to build an e-learning. Um, so we are uh, at the point that we wrote down almost all the content, at least the outline of it. So it's basically taking a training that we used, that you received, but split it into small lessons. Uh, so I assume it can be useful for you to also um, have it, you know, maybe can help to organize uh, your course at the university. So that's three things that we can, um, I don't, know for, I don't know how you see the step forward, but um, it would be, as I understand that you have, you are quite a few to already receive, to already know the, the tool, are giving some, even some training, etc. So we can plan this type of training of champion, training of trainers, uh, really focus on uh, some specific topic. We don't go again for the whole course because you know it. Uh, but we can maybe decide on uh, on those topics and organize this training, which will be online uh, for the time being. And um, yes, so I don't know what what you think about it, but that's uh, my our proposal. Thank you. Um, I know that uh, Gunther actually and uh, Shelly already mentioned the two uh, person how we like to go forward. So what from our side, what do you think it should be the two steps, you know? The initial step will be the training for the trainers. Already we got two of our colleagues trained from well, on this rural industry field. So it should be some refreshers, yes. Uh, maybe 
a uh, few of my colleagues may join with this the initial uh, uh, actually training of the trainers as because they will be delivering the actually the training and the lectures to, to the school so it is one one combination next thing uh, next thing is you know our courses is the for six month per semester so that particular course will be actually offered in a particular semester so there will be usually around uh, two lectures uh, per week so at least uh, we can actually have at least one lecture per week uh, with the actual rural best toolkit uh, so that we can spread it all over the semester and uh, and finally the student will be actually trained on the rural best toolkit so uh, uh, my proposal is to just two step one is the training for the trainers that that may be comprehensive and now in covid situation it must be virtual so my colleagues who have already trained or we can add another one or two of my colleagues to you so that they can have a good insight and they are deal with the trainer. And then as we have already actually included in the course, but we need to actually you know the total syllabus and all those, the topics we need to actually select precisely and probably we need your help to how we can put it properly and, where, and it can spread over the whole semester. So that the student have some flexibility of doing it. So that's the way we are actually looking. I think what's also very interesting, that's very good what you are proposing. So we can work on, on this line also. But I think what we also have to take into consideration, you mentioned that you are doing this machinery service provision. Oh, yes. So that we work on specific case studies, that we work on how you trying to, to, to do that, because there's not much is it, so far much experience with rural investors. I'm not saying we cannot do it, but I think there's not many cases had been done in rural invest uh, for service provision. We have done something in Sri Lanka a little bit, but now with the COVID it has slowed down. But we can take the lead also in Bangladesh if there are really uh, good cases and, and, and work this into the, into the actual training and then the practical application. Yeah, oh, oh, that's at, very good professor. Yeah. So at MMI, we have some blended uh, profile and pro project. So uh, we cover, say, for, for example, for crop specific uh, enterprises, mainly community business. So in each producer organizations, there should be a, a common facility center equipped with agricultural machineries, and that uh, common facility center generates income for the producer organizations. So profile and project both showcase the income from the services. So you can get some ideas from this. So mainly we consulted with uh, Manjur Alam Sar, Joyon, Hamid also. So Shurujit helped us, helped us a lot in establishing this uh, common facility center. So I think it's not a problem. We can we can we can share with you. Another another opportunity, Gunthar, for module one, the participatory assessment, the community level assessment. Uh, here I also introduce Munjur Alomsar in different way, because he is a pioneer in Bangladesh in using participatory tools. As an engineer, this is really rare. But we, in our uh, undergraduate curriculum, in our project work, in our master's program, in our PhD thesis, we, we always integrate this participatory assessments of different issues and different businesses, and we integrate it. So for module one, I think uh, he can, uh, he would be a very good asset for university. And then module two and module three, we, we mainly our curriculum, one, one uh, book mainly um, offered from Donald Hunt, Engineering Mechanization. And the, the, the proced process of calculation uh, in fixed cost calculation, variable cost calculation, IRR, IRR calculation, the same as the toolkit. Just we, we made it manually before, now it is in software. Of course, I mean, yeah. We know that rural invest is not a rocket science, nothing new. It's just a very standardized, harmonized approach and makes things comparable. It's, it's, we can do it on Excel sheets. We can do it with our own formulas, of course. But what we try to do with the rural invest tool is that all the projects that are prepared are going through the same procedure and process and are calculated and treated the same way so that we make them comparable. That's the only, let's say, additional value 
of rule invest you know, when it comes to calculations, but the calculations themselves are the same that we can collect the internal <coughs> of calculations in, in Excel sheets and so on. So that's for sure. No, that's why actually I thank you, Gunther, you know, that we always do it, you know, the Excel sheet doing all these calculations separately and then compiling it. So yes. your actually the rural invest toolkit gives us the digitized way your program way of doing that. So it makes life very simple, you know. So that's that's why I like to thank you that you have done it. We are thinking about it for a long time, but you have done it, and that's why yeah. we. It's not me who has done it. It's yeah, your group, colleagues, experience, and and teamwork and sharing in FAO a lot of efforts. Um, with all my colleagues, we have done it, and we are very happy that it is really useful. That is the, the big point uh, that encourages us to continue the work. Yeah. One thing actually I would like to add uh, that it's a very good uh, tool that we have actually experienced. Uh, actually, I supposed to join two of the, one of those training, but uh, at the same time I had uh, some other <laughs> uh, visit uh, uh, outside the country, so I could not join. But it's really helpful for our student. But what I feel actually, the, because with the machinery course and with the uh, mechanization course, we have those calculation things that uh, that the rural investor would be very helpful for our student. So what uh, I, I think it is, I, I don't know how, how can I pronounce it, is Choli or uh, how do I pronounce it, you, your name? But anyway, so what you have mentioned that the e-learning platform would be very good also for our students. Uh, because we probably we cannot cover all the things in the coursework, but what can be done with that uh, student will get feelings and uh, uh, know about the software, uh, how it works, and well, maybe one of the case study would be using this rural invest tool to analyze one of the machines and everything. But if they want to go for details and they want to learn more, we can refer them to those e-learning platform where they can visit and see all those because because of of the COVID-19 situation our students are very familiar with the e-learning platform like Coursera and some other platforms so they are taking course from there so if you have this option in the FAO site or somewhere so we can mention them that okay say those are the course you should have you should take this course that will help you uh, in near future as a good engineer in the field uh, uh, and support you to decide something or uh, support you to uh, make any decision or any policy making. So I think that would be the good way of connecting our students uh, with the software. And what you have mentioned also, because students should uh, follow the same path of uh, calculating what is the depreciation and all other stuff, variable cost and uh, operating cost. So that's the good thing because uh, we have learned, uh, uh, like uh, Professor Monjur Alam, uh, he's our also uh, teacher. Uh, we learn from him about this kind of calculation and now we are teaching our student. But the thing would be, if sometimes students uh, feel that, okay, there are different way of calculating depreciation. So, uh, that's something they're sometimes confused and they do some wrong in the Excel sheet, then we feel a lot of problem. So uh, with this rural invest, we can avoid all those kind of error and everything. So I think it would be the good way that we are, we all we have already decided incorporating rural invest in our course curricula uh, as a part of that uh, course, uh, like agriculture, machinery uh, or machinery and mechanization or engineering management. So, uh, but with that things, if we have this e-platform learning option with A1, A2, like if they want to go into deep, so they can go to this uh, e-learning platform, learn more about this software. So I think that would be the way to go forward. And of course, uh, we can get your help. You, you may provide us uh, uh, more training for the deeper understanding about all those uh, like calculation inside what happening inside you can give us uh, some training of course uh, and update us with this latest uh, version 
So that will help us uh, to know what inside the software and we can guide our student very fruitfully with that. So that's something I wanted to add. Thank you. Maybe on that, um, first of all, my name is Chloe. Maybe yeah, it's okay. a bit difficult <laughs> Sorry to pronounce. That. But <laughs> yeah. um, just to I have maybe a question. When do you want to have to see this course at the university um, available be done? That's my first question in order to see uh, the timeline for it. And uh, for the, regarding the e-learning, uh, right now, even though we started quite uh, some time ago, uh, we are far from to be ready uh, like to have something finished and being able to be used. Um, so I think it would most probably happen next year, but not at the beginning. Um, but I also think that if if you you can you can use the material, the raw material of it, in order to build your course, that's I see it maybe uh, more feasible for you to to use the structure of it and the way the logic behind etc. In order to build your own course, of course, in the, it would be ideal if you could use it already like finished. But I'm afraid that it's it will not be the case. Um, uh, soon, soon, and yeah. So that's that's maybe an information that you. On the other hand, not to be too uh, sad, we have already an existing e-learning course which talks about the basics and about uh, the concepts of Ruinvest, and we have of course also manuals which are downloadable online from the from the so from the website which already provide a lot of material. It's not providing the material for the latest and the latest version, but it provides, let's say, the insights into what Rural Invest can do, how it is being done, and what concepts are being applied for calculating the things and then how to do the, the application a bit. So it's, it's already a basis there, but we are building on this and we are, much, we are much more heading to a kind of online training course that people can learn by themselves on their own pace from online courses to be able to understand Rural Invest and to apply also the software, to insert data and to draw out, to come up, up with a report. What we cannot do, of course, with these online training courses is to, to simulate or to train people uh, the field experience. So Rural Invest will always work on two legs. One is to understand what how Rural Invest works, what it entails what kind of calculations are being done and how they can use the Rural Invest once you have a report. But the other step is to get in contact with the entrepreneurs who are the owners of the project, who have to talk to the technician to collect the information and to put the information into the computer. That is something limited in the moment. We cannot do that online. That is something we really have to go to the field and do it there. And I think the others who have done this already they know the difference. That's why we have also in some of our face-to-face -face courses, we always have one day where we invite investors or maybe where we even go to the field to investors and we discuss a project, their project idea on their spot, on their farm site and then discuss the data collection from there. It gives a different experience. It's not just an experience from a case study which is written down on a paper. So that is something we cannot train in, in the online courses, but needs to be complemented. And I think the university will have to care for this part. And especially if you are already experts in participatory approaches and uh, you have used Rural Invest already a bit in the field, you, you can maybe design this. We, we cannot be there at the moment because we cannot travel. Okay, I can- Thank you. Yeah, thank Sorry. you. The one thing you know that uh, due to COVID-19, the university is still closed. And uh, even we don't know the when the university will be opening and the students are, will be coming to the uh, to this uh, premises. So still, it is depending on the government decisions. So whatever we could do with the student, uh, that will be not in this year, and that will be the next year. So uh, it will not be the problem if we actually develop the course curriculum and the content, uh, so we can actually adapt it to the student level in the later on. So that can be done. And again, uh, Guntar, you rightly mentioned that 
uh, the participatory, the way of assessing and having those data from the farmers. So we have some experience, we are doing it. So uh, on that particular part, we can do it. But in the COVID-19 situation, we are looking forward to improve it. Then we'll be actually going to especially face-to-face -face contact with this, the farmers. So that will take some time, not in the three, three months time just now, but it will be the later in the next year, we'll be going to actually apply all of this. Yes. Yeah, what you said actually, uh, that, that the things we cannot do, uh, what uh, alums have said that we cannot do that uh, that's next day, but uh, we are projecting it would be probably kind of July, December 2021 semester, uh, where we can actually uh, really introduce that rural and best things in the uh, in our course curricula. Uh, of course, already we have started to give some assignment uh, with that uh, when we are uh, taking the course, but the things is that real practice will start I think in the, uh, kind of in July, December. But what you say that with that the platform e-learning platform you have right now that our students or we can like our colleagues can get the feelings of what is the rural invest tool and what kind of things can be done. I think that would be very helpful uh, as a eye opening uh, that uh, there are the options so where they can visit, they can go and see these kind of tools are available. So we, that can be used for calculating uh, kind of or uh, or preparing the business plan and all these things. So I think uh, that would be a good way uh, to start uh, right now, uh, what I feel, but when, of course, there will be mature stage. Of course, uh, uh, Dr. Iman Nubi Khan is there, you are there, so we'll be connected somehow, uh, hopefully. So we can update ourselves according to your development on that software and the uh, availability. So we can incorporate all those uh, right away after the finalization of that uh, kind of things in the, or incorporation in the things in the software. Uh, but I don't know what you feel, but I think uh, what we feel that is a interesting and it's a very good uh, tool for us. Of course, uh, maybe you will do a lot of things inside to make it more user friendly and uh, more easy for our students. So that would be very good. Uh, but at this point, I, I think uh, we should somehow start with these things. And our colleagues, uh, Dr. Achiki Robbani, even uh, Dr. Hamidul Islam, who took the training, they were very actually, you know, uh, I think they are there, they can tell about that software, but they are they really uh, enthusiastic to add all the uh, rural investing in the in our in, in the our course curricula so and what we get the feelings in one day with the introduction from the the Fremont, we can we also feel that it's really necessary what we are de doing in the excel sheet but it would be more easier for us and it would be more authentic to calculate something that with the business plan or IRR or that operating cost whatever so uh, I think it will uh, give us a good confidence. Even one of our students who actually uh, presented uh, 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 some calculation using the rural invest tool and that was appreciated by our colleagues that, okay, we can trust it and we can, uh, of course, that can be used for uh, calculating uh, or doing the financial analysis of the machinery. So that's something uh, probably we think of, yeah. So how shall we proceed? Uh, Imanon, do you have any proposal? I mean, we have the TCP, we have the MMI. Yeah. We said we can offer, I think the first step to get everybody on the same level is to, to do this uh, refresher course and updating what's new in Rural Invest 5. There's some terminology which has a bit changed and uh, the easy, easier to handle installation and things like that. We can work on that. We try to organize a course for that. And from there on onwards, we should then maybe discuss on your, how you want to integrate this in, in, in the curricula, how many hours a week, how long and per day, etc., etc. And then from there, maybe with your colleagues who want to do the training also, we can discuss uh, 
how it can be maybe cut down in small portions, digestible for every trainee, something yeah. like that. Yeah. So I think uh, Guntar and uh, Mandurulam sir, uh, if we form a say simple uh, a com committee, so blending with FAO and Department of Farm Pharma Machinery. I think uh, uh, had uh, Dr. Hamid and Ashik Rabbani, those already participated in this training. And from FAO, uh, myself, uh, Hanif, and uh, Asadul Zaman, and a PhD fellow, Shurujit. If we work uh, at, uh, on the draft curricula, and then we place to you and join, yes. and, uh, and, and in, a broader, in a broader faculty, just we, we will give it to you. Then if you uh, present in among the faculty under the leadership of Hamid, as he's the head now, uh, then when you draft it, then you can share the draft curricula with uh, Royal Invest team at headquarter, Gunther, Chloe, Marshall, Kundan. I think uh, they would expedite the process during this COVID situation. And my question to Gunther and Chloe that when will be your next uh, virtual training on the uh, RIB5? Mm -hmm. And whether we can, some of us can participate there on the installation and other process. <laughs> people, people, people always shoot me, even on where is the cloud version? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I can I can share my experience also. Yeah, I sure. am, yeah okay. I am introducing this course uh, after after coming back from the RDA in February and during March uh, I started in my class. It is a, a master's degree course for the agriculture machinery and management, pretty much like that. And we, we have we along with our senior professor Professor Musharraf Hussain. We both are taking this course, and Professor Musharraf sir is uh, he is introducing the Donald Hunt, all the equations of Donald Hunt in in calculating the business model and the economic analysis. And I am along with this. I am trying. I was. I tried to the this toolkit to introduce the student and. I'm lucky that uh, Gunther gave us all the materials, all the materials, including all the examples to, to, to give the students or to reach the students. And I think the students got it, that this is a, an useful toolkit. But unfortunately, what I face most is that most of the students uh, fail to install it in their PC. And this is a great, this is a huge problem for me because I also tried. It takes us a, almost half a day to install all this in the RDA. And same case occurred here as here. The, the, the students came with their PC, but the software is not user friendly for all the PCs. So I think we should also work on it because if the software is not user friendly, then the lab students are not willing to use it. Because once he enter, he, he will get the interest to take this because it, really it is interesting, but the preliminary primary is to install it, it is a problem. So we think we have to think of it. It's Thank a you. Stop or if it doesn't work. We have a good news for you. Um, oh, thank you. <laughs> the last version, which is called Reef 5, uh, with the developer, we changed the way that it get, it get installed in the computers. Oh. So right now, so far, I did in July uh, training with 40 people online. And out of 40 people in, let's say, one hour, all PC were uh, okay with the with the software. Oh, 
So nice we can say that we saved this, we changed this, uh, this situation. We knew that it was a big uh, problem and challenge for the country uh, to get installed this uh, software. It was creating a lot of, um, this is a yeah, it was great painful, achievement. let's say. Thank you. Uh, so now you can, uh, you, yeah, don't worry. At least the new software, we don't have any more this, uh, this issue. We can promise it to you because it worked in Mali. It can work in Bangladesh. It works in India. It's now, it's, it's, it's fine. We, we solved this. Um, so just for you to make sure we are talking about the same, uh, same thing. We have Reef 5, which is okay. the last version of the software okay. that you know meaning the yes. same look, the same type of software. We call it Reef 5. So it's slightly improved in no bug, no installation problem, and slight improvement. This is Reef 5. In parallel, we are working in Reef 20, which will be for next year. And then we have to do some testing, etc. So it's not yet ready, but this Reef 20 will be new look, a new possibility, this is a, it, let's say a higher jump from uh, where we are to Reef 20. But right now, we would like for you to, I think, to use what is ready and we know that it's working, which is Reef 5, the one that you you know 95% of it because it's the same than Reef, than Reef 4. Uh, so we're not talking about Reef 20, we're talking about Reef 5. Uh, just for you to make sure you we are clear on those all of those version I, I, I can understand it and sometimes can be confusing. So Reef 5 is the one that is desktop, you don't need internet, and it's easy to install right now. That's that's the one. Okay. You need the internet to download the files and once you have the files on your computer, it's easy to install. That's yeah. very good. So far that's our experience, but we hope we make the same experience in Bangladesh once we send it over to you. And this will be happening also soon. We are preparing for this message and for the for the file from our internal uh, IT unit. And as soon as everything is ready, we will have this uh, message. If you are in, in uh, if you are subscribed into the D groups, like what we did when at the end of the courses, you, you will get it definitely. And if you not have it, you will ask uh, Imanun or somebody else to forward you the files. So you have already uploaded it in, into uh, D groups. No, not like we are about to do it, and what we want okay. to do is that okay. everybody okay. signs up at D groups, okay. so we get okay. finally all the users registered in D groups, so that when there is a new change and when there is a Rift 20, we can alert everybody who is working yeah. with Fluid Invest. Everybody gets a message through D groups, and then can be reached from us. In the moment, yeah. we have for each training session, as training event that we have done, we have a different uh, different uh, Excel sheet with emails and we want to compile it into one big thing. Marcel has worked on it and now it's over 600 plus or more email messages that we have and they should all subscribe to D groups and from there we can manage it centrally later on. Okay, yeah, great. Uh the, the, idea, the idea now for the coming months is to, now that we have a bigger team in HQ dealing with Reinvest, we'll try to um, use dgroup and make the network of Reef user more alive than it was before. Uh, so after this message that everybody that is using, who is using Reinvest or will use it will be in the dgroup, through the dgroup we will try to update you, uh, put you a lot of information through it, make you ask questions, etc. So we'll really use and try to um, like push for this communication and make sure that the community can exchange between themselves with us, etc. So we try to, it was a bit difficult before because we had, we were a bit few and we had quite a lot of things to handle. But now that we mm -hmm. have Marcel and others, so we are trying to focus also on increasing the communication and using the group as the tool to centralize everybody. So it's coming. Excellent. Just for your information, see my teacup in my office at home. <laughs> yes, <laughs> good, good. I always think of you. <laughs> no, thank you very much to keep us in your... Yes. yes. So, 
Yeah. Where are we? Uh, mainly, I ask you one question: that when will be uh, okay? We got idea that uh, another next version is upcoming. So after uh, after launching this uh, uh, latest version, then you must uh, have a plan to conduct a virtual training and should yes. we participate there? Yes. Because it's Zoom, you have no. I I don't think that you will cover only twenty or maybe lots of people. But maybe Imanon, just to to make sure that we we're talking about different training here. We have the training of trainers mm -hmm. that we will uh, will have with uh, some of you in order to show you the read five. And then, as it by my, by my understanding, you are talking about a training for beginner also to in Bangladesh, right? Yeah. Mainly for the so, specifically for agriculture university. Okay, so then yes, we have to plan it uh, together. What? Yeah. Uh, it depends yeah. also of your timeline. I have to say yeah. that yeah. Um, maybe what I would propose like this, but of course for discussion, I would say we can um, have as an objective to have this training of trainer before the end of the year, and in order to plan. Um, a training, a training for let's say beginner at the beginning of next year, but I I don't know if. Oops, you got. Uh, yeah, this 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 idea is fine. So uh, together we can to work. Your your calendar for us it would be ideal because we are kind of full. Yeah. Yeah, so mainly uh, the main takeaways is uh, if you agree, then uh, from who, who, those who we are in uh, based in Bangladesh, so the practitioner and also faculty, we can work together to come up with a draft curricula with, with Tom Poxar and his project, because I think a prepared skill machine innovation hub next phase will uh, mainly work on it, will assist department to integrate this one as we discussed. So maybe um, uh, head Dr. Hamid, Ashik, myself, Shajol and Hanif, we can work together. And then uh, we, we uh, even try and can also join. Then we will come to Professor Munjul sir. Uh, if you agree, then we discuss with Gunther and global team. And meanwhile, latest uh, software, when it's lunch, we will impart some of us. And then you can take. So as Dr. Choyan also mentioned that even July, December session 2021 would be a good fit for us. So we can keep continuing this work, yeah. So these are takeaway areas. So if you have any suggestion, Gunther or Chloe? No, that looks fine to me. And uh, I think, yes, we, we do it before the end of the year, we do the up, upgrade or the, the refresher training with the training of trainers. And we plan, as you said, uh, the, the, the curriculum for the university level training. We plan as, as you propose. And we, we, we after you have agreed on this, Mr. Monjoon, uh, we, will, we will look at it uh, closely and make our suggestion as well. Yes, and maybe for takeaway, I would um, I would add, not for now, but to keep in mind that to take the opportunity of uh, working with you that are in the mechanization uh, department, as I understood, to have uh, to work on mechanization case uh, yes. done by reinvest because either for you and for us, it will be really useful to have these uh, study cases that we can really work in detail on it. So. Yeah. So I think, I think the, the project has a scope to integrate or promote this tool with agricultural economics faculty also, because they have separated the business unit and uh, some of members working under, under Professor Munjuru sir uh, with ASME. So, maybe other faculty may be interested to integrate this one also, yeah. Well, let's start with a master plan, a master curricula that you have set. And let's also work on the master, let's say, service provision profile and projects and case studies. Yeah. 
Meanwhile, we are doing, on the other hand, we are doing the, the training of trainers uh, at the end of the year. Yeah, okay, yeah. thank you. And thank you, Kundan, for sending this very uh, example of Mongolian University. So, uh, shall I uh, share this one with faculties? Kundan? Yeah, I mean, uh, there was this course developed by one of the participants who, had, who was with us in 2017. Uh, if you remember, I don't remember his name, but they did a course in their university. Uh, Chuka. 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 Yes. Chuka. Professor Chuka from Mongolia. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you remember him. So yeah. you can have a look at that, see, you know, how much it matches uh, your requirement so that it yeah. helps, you know. Yeah, great. Great. Thank you, Kundan. Yeah. So, sir, please so, <laughs> give oh, yeah, take right, Personally, yeah. I like to thank, you know, Gunthar, uh, Marcel, Chloe, and uh, Kundan uh, from this, uh, actually, the room. And also, I like to thank the FAO team from Dhaka, Bangladesh, and my colleagues, actually, giving me the, the time. And we have a very good discussion, and we are looking forward to go ahead with implementation of rural infrastructure toolkit, and that will be really a helpful one, as because uh, the appropriate skill mechanization, that project is going to be actually extended for the next three years, and we'll be collaborating with MMI in some of the farmers' uh, groups. We'll be working together, and even the uh, the speak group is working some other individual uh, entrepreneurs, so we can actually have a look how it works with the farmers group, as well as how it works with the individual entrepreneurs. So uh, in, in future, we, we can be able to actually exercise those things. So, so that will be a good opportunity and good collaboration with APO and Bangladesh Agriculture University. So I'd like to thank you all for giving us the time. And we are really obliged to have you. And uh, in future, this collaboration will be uh, more stronger and it will be really helpful for both of us. So thank you again uh, for giving us the time and good evening. And for sure, you will love the campus, Agriculture University. There is a large oh, river, sure, sure. A river within the university, a train line, a train station within the university. We say, that, that is face to face follow up then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If, online, uh, our online cooperation and yeah. yeah thank you very much yeah, for yeah. this yeah, collaboration yeah. opportunity. I think it's a very good complement the next step for the TCP to, to follow up on this because the idea of the TCP was to create national capacities for rural invest, not only for applying it in the field, but also for training more people at the national level. And that is, I think, exactly what happens now in Bangladesh with your support and your contributions and enthusiasm. And this is for us as a team is very, very nice and very good because we see that all our efforts that we have to do over the last few months and even last year we did a lot of trainings around the world that all these efforts are really not in vain but they have an they have a appreciation in the field and people are like like you like it and they see how to make use of this tool in a good way and that's what we need for our feedback to continue the the difficult work with rift 20 and the training material etc cetera, etc cetera. so it's very good to, to have this uh, feedback from your side. Thanks a lot for this one hour session today. And we stay in contact. I'm sure that even on you will put up the, the, the core group together. So we have the contacts with you and with the team to follow up on these activities. Thanks to all of you. And it was good yeah. to see the old faces again. I mean, the young faces. <laughs> oh, sure, sure, yeah, sure. Thank you. And thank in you. future, you are most welcome to be your campus. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I'm looking forward. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Stay well. Thank yeah. you. Good night. Sir, Islam is sir. Thank you. Sir, Sir, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. 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 Thank আমি ওদের সময়টা আমি 
খুব গুরুত্ব সহকারে নিয়েছে এই জন্য কারণ হলো যে এই মুহূর্তে আমাদের টিসিপি ওই যেটা ছিল মেয়াদ অগস্ট ত্রিশ তারিখ শেষ হয়ে গেছে তো ফলে ওরা ওদের কনসেন্ট্রেশন আফ্রিকার দিকে নিয়ে যাবে আমি বললাম যে তোমাদের কনসেন্ট্রেশন এইদিকে আমরা আনি কারণ এশিয়া সম্পর্কে আর এশিয়ান অন্য অন্য জায়গাগুলোতে খুব বেশি যে আপনার ইনোভেশন গুলো অন্য এজেন্সি থেকে ইন্ডিয়া খুব বেশি ওরা নিজস্ব ইনোভেশনের বাইরে যেতে চায় না তো বাংলাদেশে আমরা ভালো করছি কারণ আমরা কিন্তু ওপেন বাংলাদেশের সবাই দেখবেন যেসব দেশই ক্লোজ অন্য কাউকে খুব ভিড়তে দেয় না ঢুকতে দেয় না এরা কিন্তু একটা জায়গাতে গিয়ে স্ট্যাগনেন্ট হয়ে যাচ্ছে মানে ওই বেরিয়ে আসতেছে না তো আমি ভাবলাম যে এটা একটা সুযোগটা বরং আমরা নিয়েই দেখি না ওদের যদি একটা স্ট্রং কারিকুলাম টিম আমরা যদি নিতে পারি তাহলে আমাদের কিছু ছেলে মেইন টার্গেট হলো কিছু ছেলে যদি ইন্টার্ন করতে পারে পরে গিয়ে এক্স্যাক্ট এবং ওদের মেইন ওদের মেইন টার্গেট হলো কিছু চ্যাম্পিয়ন তৈরি করা ন্যাশনাল লেভেলে তখন দেখা গেল যে এফ ইউডি ইনভেস্টমেন্ট প্রজেক্ট গুলো যেগুলো আসবে ডিজাইনে কাজ করবে ওই ইনভেস্টমেন্ট প্রজেক্ট গুলোতে কিন্তু ওই এই প্র্যাকটিশনাররাই কিন্তু আসলে গিয়ে কনসালটেন্ট হিসেবে কাজ করছে কারণ ওদের তো ডেটাবেস ওই ডি গ্রুপে যে ডেটাবেস একমাত্র মিজান মিজান ভাই আর সব রিলাক্টেন্ট মানে এটা হলো ট্রেনিং ইনস্টিটিউট লোকজন আসবে যাবে আর ওনারা লেকচার দিবে কারণ সে ওই যে ইয়ের কাছে শুনছে